people. <laughs> get that player came out. <laughs> yeah. Get the player cam out there, baby. I, I do that like, oh, well, now you look kind of appropriate. But, but. Yeah, we're there. Uh, Got to, like, try to position myself awkwardly on the camera. Can we just talk about how uh, this Yoshi's tag is uh, Red Lemming, and uh, he plays Blue Yoshi. Huh. I, I don't approve. Oh, no. No, not from the Gucci master himself. Mm -mm. No, if it's not Gucci approved, we don't approve. But he's going to have, regardless, we got Nietzsche and Red Lemming opening it up here at SFW. 80-something, because I already forgot. 86. <laughs> 86. <laughs> With 40 entrants, let's get underway. And off to a quick start already. Red Lemming just trying to land. Yeah, but, I'm kind uh, Nietzsche. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, they're both moving, like, a lot. Like, uh -huh. I normally don't see a game this active. Yeah, especially from these two kind of characters, right? Kind of stationary. I mean, you might see Yoshi go on offensive a little more just because of how little range he has. But it looks like Nietzsche is trying to hold down his own little zone here, yeah. hold down the stage, because that's what Game Watches like to do, right? They're not too big on movement. Whoa. I mean, you kind of can with Game of Watch's animation. His dash animation actually feels really nice. You can box shot with it pretty nicely, but yeah, it's not like a... When you think of mobile characters, <laughs> definitely not think of Game of Watch. Yeah. Yoshi a little more mobile, especially in the air, but that up smash going to go ahead and clear out the stock real quick. Yeah, he was throwing that out quite a bit. Finally, as we like to say in baseball, he just ran into one. Yeah. And I was able to catch a little spot dodger or something of such. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's it's kind of interesting because Nietzsche and Advo, they play the same color, but they play such different Game of Watches. Mm -hmm. Nietzsche said that he'd never stolen. He's like, it's all stuff that he's come up with. Kinds of stuff. Like, he doesn't like watch people and like steal stuff. He's like, I just do my own stuff. And you and, have you sort of have to, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you can know. see him reading air dodges like a like a mo mofo, man. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, no, he's he's making reads early and he's uh, feeling himself early on here as he's at a pretty nice oh. and man, that fair gets beat out by the up smash. That yep. is some crazy invincibility. Yeah, I mean if it's invincible nothing's gonna be you That's can be right. Kirby in a rock form and you know yep. can I I mean you won't get Kirby won't get hit either, but. yeah. So Oh what that was down B. Yeah. I mean it knocked him away yeah, a little sure. bit the stars. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, something that Red Lemming oh. really has to be careful, and that's a little overextension, almost going for the two two right there. But uh I, something he has to really be careful about is his, is his aerials, right? His jumping, because of how much that Nietzsche has been looking for that up smash and just trying to catch him on the come up. But that up B right there, or down B, I should say, right. will uh, will quickly steal the stock nonetheless. Yeah, the down B. I've seen that more and more from Yoshi's. You know, they just like they're finding situations to use the move in. I've seen like jab to down B or jab jab down B. It's actually kind of insane. Yeah, man. that jab uh, is such a Kickstarter. Right? Yeah. Oh, no jab reset. I don't. Yeah. It's hard to jab reset with Yoshi. I don't think jab actually does it. Uh, yeah, it's, a bit, it's, a, it's an interesting jab. It's pretty unique. Look at the look at the percent Red Lemmings attacking out right now, though. It was uh, quite in the deficit. Yeah, he, he's slowly but surely bringing this back as he pokes away. And right now, it looks like Nietzsche is kind of at a loss here on sealing the stock away. He is kind of looking for the up smash, but there he is again, but just barely, barely gets broken out of it by the jab. Yeah, I'm surprised the up smash didn't connect there. I thought the Herbiotic Extinction would have hit him with it. Oh my god! Yeah. These up smashes from Nick. And uh, 420 blaze it. <laughs> like, can I say it? Like, for real. <laughs> In the spirit of the holidays, he gets scorched. <laughs> I actually told him to, to F smash. No, I told Advil to F smash because 420 blaze it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll toast him like a Pop Tart. Man. Right? Yeah, he's roasting it. Yeah, he really is. So. When, you, when you hit Yoshi's shield so much, it's uh, like a burnt one. It's like you put that, that, you put that in the toaster for like more than a minute. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's, now it's dark. I like to call it, I, I like to call it the boiled egg. I mean, that's a boiled egg yeah. right there. But um, you know, it, we didn't even get to that kind of situation. But it was a lot of <laughs> pressure, a I lot of pressure from Red Lemming in the early uh, in the late game. But Nietzsche, man, he just never let up. And we're gonna see actually a skin color change here. Um, yeah. But something's off here. Obviously, we're gonna have a bit of a restart. He went Fox. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so he does have a uh, another character in his tool bag. Those aren't Oreos. But Oh, by the way, Nero Nero decided that today he was going to eat cookies. You already ate them and all? Milk. Oh my god. You're supposed to eat them on stream. I told him to get Oreos and milk and put and eat them on stream. Yeah. No, he just oh ate his Oreos. And then he pulls out Sour Patch Kids. What is he doing? This is nothing. Real quick while it's on my mind. That means you're going to get uh, a lot of sour spots tonight. That's right. The uh That's right. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm OGs. <laughs> He's bringing right. out the OG Zelda. Anyways, <laughs> this matchup is actually not well. Okay, it it's all about Fox finding the kill. Cause like, if you can't find it early, it's it, it becomes a, it becomes really difficult. Same thing with Game of Watch. But because like your edge guarding against Fox is so good, cause you can just go out there with Game of Watch so floaty. You have 
long lasting hitboxes, disjoints, all the stuff that you need to really get box off stage, you have it all. But you die so early because you're so light and susceptible to the combos. I mean, you guys, uh, you laid it all on the line right there. I mean, you heard it here first, guys. That That is the matchup in a nutshell. So we'll see how these two really interact here as we see the uh, the character change from Red Lemming, not the Yoshi, of course, uh, not able to clip it out. So now the Fox, and off to a much better start as he's really kept Nietzsche in the air quite a bit and really not letting up stage yeah. control of the up air. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Fox is well in the matchup, but it's not like as hard as you think it would be. Uh -huh. But right now, Red Lemming, I'm liking the Fox pick here, just kind of throwing frame data out at Game of Watch. Yeah, a little bit of oppression. A little bit of oppression, yeah. indeed. Like, ha, ha, I'm higher up on the tier list. Uh oh, Blaze it again. Try to go for a nice little read there. Another one. Yeah. All right, Dash Tag. He's sending the other way, not where he wanted, but he will take a Fox on the platform. Wow! He just got enough of it, man. That must have been within pixels of getting the wrong hitbox on that Nair, because he was set a far away away. But I Fox, know. just enough speed to get there. I, I think Nietzsche could have actually up because up comes uh, out like very yeah. uh, quickly. It comes, and he didn't want to air dodge in the ground, which was why he didn't air dodge. And I think uh, special moves come out faster than like actual uh, like, like jumping. He might have caught the jump too, but either way, that up smash is going to beat that on the platform. Certainly okay. something you can question, but right now I don't like the fact that Red Lemming is approaching, going in with dash attacks. When you have a lead like this, you want Game Watch to come at you. He yeah. is uh, he is pretty susceptible, and right now we just see a, a lot of Red Lemming going in. But I mean, you know, so far it's working out for him. He has not died yet, so you know, as long right. as he keeps the stock, all the better. But Nietzsche right is now, interestingly not going for two toot or grab like at all, pretty much. Mm -hmm. You know, he's actually going for just like up smash, hoping yeah. he can just like get the invincibility on it. And losing that game, looking a little, a little distraught. He's going to have to think about the Fox matchup. It looks like he got a little overwhelmed early on, and it kind of got to his head. It all comes back to stage control. He he, uh, yeah. he never held down the dance floor quite right. enough to really get anything started or build any kind of momentum. And uh, Red Lemming just kind of ran with it. You see at the end here, he did have him off stage, and this is the situation you want to see a little more often with Game Watch yeah. in this matchup. However, that didn't happen, and we saw an up air string that ended up taking the yeah, game. Yeah, that was actually super clean. Not going to lie, he beat out the down air, which is sick. All right, but now we're going to get rid of those platforms and go uh, immediately get his bucket. Now, it does range on what's in the bucket when it comes to damage. But he's, got, he's got two of them. He's got yeah. two charges. We need one more. But yeah, Fox Lasers, I've seen that bucket before. It does garbage. Yeah. The only thing you can really get off of it is like good damage. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, not something he's... I think Red Lemming shouldn't be too startled by it. But uh, we're going to have D here. And get, like we said before, getting rid of those platforms. All right, he's got him off stage. See what he can get here. Yeah. You got to watch out for that double jump. When you have your opponent off stage, what you should be thinking is, where's their double jump? Where's their double jump? And once you see it, that's your time to act. Because right, any time prior, they can just jump out of what you're about to do. All right, having a little jab lock there, but he gets out of it and gets the dash attack, but gets pushed out to the side. All right, he's looking to get something started. Good up tilt to lead into it, a solid up air conversion. And right now, Red Lemming still pushing here, but looks like oh? Nietzsche is able to hold down his zone a little better, and it's caused Red Lemming to kind of be on the outside looking in. Yeah, it's it, he's... He, has, he didn't fall susceptible to what he was the, the first game, right? He wasn't just at a high percent niche, that is. And now Red Lemming feels like he has to be a bit more careful rather than the oppression that we saw the first game. And that is the early kills we're talking about with Fox. It's just, man, you, really, you, gotta, you gotta do that. He's already 2D. He doesn't have a third dimension. And you're gonna kill him like that? Come on. This up is pretty devastating and he does die early off the top. Just so limited in options, but hey. how about that? Killing, getting him in the Fox Illusion with the up smash and the seal the deal. Yeah, the octopus. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. It's very smart uh, awareness of how to get that kill. Now we're going to move into the second uh, stock of piece here. Oh! Caught the roll on, but not getting anything out of it. He said Red Lemming going to start a string of his own. Yeah, you know, now Nietzsche's got to get, I think, he's got to go for more grabs because of the combos on Fox, you can get off grab are absurd. There he goes right there, and uh, Bank putting all the marbles on the table, but not getting here what we go, he Here we go, here we go. No, he can just get guaranteed near. Yeah. Why would he up smash? I mean, up smash gets good damage, but you don't want to steal that thing, especially when I've been seeing him use it time and time again. Wanna Let's see, see what he gets here. Another grab, and he gets the 2-2, two -two, but yeah. not nearly enough to kill. We're not at that point yet, and you know you got to be careful when you fall out of that window. What do you really want to go for? You want to take sure damage. Right, yeah, no, it, yeah, when you're not in the kill window, for sure. Oh, the, that was super smart. Down tilt will actually snipe him. From getting the invincibility, because if you hit his feet, it doesn't it doesn't count as uh, the invincibility. You have to hit his head. But right now, both both are at just that kill percent. The next like read, the next big hit just wins. Yeah, I like that. What it. I like what Red Lemming was doing there, just using his shots, his jumps, and his short hops to kind of bait out him and oh! get him. 
but he pops out of the toaster with a stock gun, and now you have a winner. 420 Blazer. That's right. That's the story of the match, man. That was uh, that was down to the wire. Both both players made amazing adjustments throughout.